Hello everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com. Um, I'm really late with this uh, Norton antivirus review, I'm sorry. Uh, but things got busy. So anyway, uh, I've got my virtual machine. I've let it update its malware for the past hour now, so I guess there's new stuff on here. I'm not entirely sure what's on here. There's just a lot, a lot of malware on here. A lot of viruses, Trojans... Uh, spyware, adware, tons of adware. Um, if you've looked at my previous videos then you know that most of the anti-malware programs out there do pretty do a pretty good job at getting rid of uh, the rogue anti-malware and the Trojan downloaders. Um, but a lot of them leave behind all of this adware. Uh, all the adware I'm talking about is the Vundu and Virtue Monday which changes almost on an hourly basis. So you can't exactly hold it against them too bad. Um, the only one I've found so far that removes almost all of it is the uh, Spyware Doctor with antivirus. That's what I've been using for my clients in St. Louis. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on and test a few new pr uh, programs. And the, the next one I'm going to test is uh, Norton Antivirus 2008. Now, my only gripe with Norton Antivirus ever is that it's a big RAM hog. Uh, it takes a lot of RAM to run for some reason. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and install it and just kind of see if it can return this PC back to normal. So I'm going to go ahead and just right click, hit open. This is a 15 day trial. I'm going to go ahead and start my Zoom utility. Hang on one second while I do that. Okay, so now we can see we've got some pop-ups down here. Your typical fake system alerts down there in the tray. Same virtual machine with uh, malware, um, just new infections. So we'll see what we find. See, this Norton antivirus is, is a funny thing because it's the most popular antivirus out there for, for people who don't know anything about anti-malware. They go to the store and they see the huge Norton display and they just buy it. Um, so, and for guys like me that actually go out every day and clean stuff off, when I go out to a person's house, they almost always have Norton on their PC and they're completely infected. So, I do have, you know, a little bit a little bit of a grudge against these guys, but um, I don't know. I haven't tested their 2008 product. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's better. So this vi this review will be broken up into um, I don't know three or four parts. I usually do an install, um, the install update, and then a scan, and then just kind of my my thoughts on how it actually performed. You know. If there's much else I have to do uh, after I run a full scan, you know, do I need to load any other anti-malware programs to get rid of, um, like a Virtual Monday Vundu infection, whatever. So I have to agree to some license agreement here. Um, and it's asking me where I want to install Norton. Do I want to join the community watch? Sure. Scan for infections with the latest defini definitions after installing this product? Yes. It's not a bad installer. It seems pretty fast for this uh, PC that's so infected. Looks like it's downloading updates or it's installing them. I know it says it's installing them, but I don't believe it downloaded them that fast. Uh, I'll probably have to pause the video in the next minute or two because of YouTube requirements. I need to keep it under 10 minutes per video. So, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pause it now, and then um, I'll come back as soon as this update is done. So now you've seen me install it. You've seen the update. It's updating right now and we'll come back and do a full scan. 